Hello ladies and gentles, Greenfit Farms right here and here we want to show you how you can plant your seedlings in pots and on the ground. We realize that some of our clients and customers, whenever we send seedlings to them, they do disturb us. Like, how do I plant? How do I plant? So this is going to answer your question right now. So we start by the pots. We've actually put sand there so as not to waste time. You see, we put the sand to, some, um, to this level then you try to dig the hole you see the plants the seedlings you are planting this is a cordyline you dig the hole in the pot in correspondence to the base of the seedlings you are planting you dig the hole in correspondence to the base of the seedlings you are planting you see you dig the hole then you try to plant now this is the important part of this whole thing Whenever you are tearing the container or the leather, you make sure that the earth material around the seedling does not break. If it breaks, there's something they call transplanting shock. You can see the roots, you see the way it is. There's something they call transplanting shock and that will make your leaf to wither or to go flaccid a little bit. You don't want that. You want your plant to remain turgid, just like the way you got it. So you ensure that the base, the earth material around the seedling is intact then you can plant see you put it there you make sure you position you centralize it make sure it's balanced see it's actually balanced now and um then you fill up the soil the the pots i mean the container with the sand good sand you fill it up you fill it up to two third of the container it's like two third of it the soil is a little bit mush then you reduce it, fill it up to two third, balance up. This is set now. This two third, this is well planted. Then you can put some manure inside. One of the reasons why you fill up to two third is for you to have space for manure. And if you want to put stones inside the pot to decorate it, you have space to do that. And you still have space to water. And your water can set to and percolate. You see? Then after this now. We can water, we can water, water reasonably, you see, then we allow the water to settle, yes, now we want to show you how to plant on the ground, and uh, here we are planting bloody leaf basil, you can see it, see, so we've already dug the ground, you dig the ground, the correspondence to the base, of uh, the seedlings you are planting that's if the base is big you dig the ground to be big if it's small you dig it to be small then you tear the leather as well you tear the leather on the container because at times you have uh, your seedlings in plastic uh, rubber so once you tear you try you put it on the ground if the hole is too deep you fill it up a little with sand if it's not deep enough you dig it a little you see what i'm doing this is good now then you try to cover round it you try to cover it round then you ensure that you have some hollow part at the base so that um, you can water the water will have a space to percolate and if you want to put some manure you have some space to put manure you see then you can put some manure there and then you water Put some manure in the water. You can put some manure around it. Put some manure around it. If you don't have manure, you don't need to put it uh, as soon as you're planting. You can put it later. You can use cow dung. 